All right, Randy, a 402-foot blast by you, but now you have 50 RBI on the season. How does that sound? El honrón fue 402 pies, pero fue tu RBI número 50. Explica un poco. No, un gran trabajo que hice hoy con este honrón. 50 RBI, y bueno, contribuyó a la victoria del equipo. Well, I think I had a pretty good game. I hit a home run. I got the 50th RBI. I'm glad I was able to contribute to help the team. All right, but Randy, last season you didn't get to 50 until the first week of August. Anything different this year? More focus? What is it? 50 RBI el año pasado no fue hasta la primera semana de agosto, que es diferente este año. Que me adelanté al tiempo, y como estamos en 2023, empecé de temprano a producir. I sped up the time. Since it's 2023, I started doing everything earlier. Did you and Isak just say, hey, I think we're going to go back to back in these at bats? Si hablaron tú y paredes, que, hey, vamos a ir a dos honrones consecutivos. No, le di, le di, lo empujé a que dieras, a que conectaras un honrón. Cada vez que yo doy honrón, viene el paisita y también lo hace. Entonces, eso es bueno que nos estemos hablando, ¿me entiendes? Entonces, eso es bueno para producir para el equipo. I think I, I pushed him a little bit. You know, I, I, every time I hit home run before him, he gets a little bit more motivated. So I'm glad that I'm able to help each other out. Randy, what would it mean to you to be an all-star? ¿Qué significa para ti para ser una estrella? Para mí, mucho sacrificio y disciplina, la verdad. Amo lo que hago y por eso trato de hacer lo mejor posible cada día para seguir aprendiendo y poder motivarme a mí mismo y motivar a, a muchos jóvenes para que sigan jugando béisbol. A lot of sacrifice and a lot of discipline uh, to let everyone know the, the hard work that we're doing to show the, the young kids that they're capable of doing anything that they put their mind to. All right, let's hear it. Tell the fans, vote for you. Que voten por mí, diles. Sí, a todos los fanáticos que voten por mí para Juego de las Estrellas y nos vemos en Seattle. For all my fans, please vote for me uh, and I'll see you guys in Seattle. Randy, thanks for the time. Guys, back to you. Josh Bradley, I guess, how effective was he today? He, was, he went six for the for the first time and struck out eight. Yeah, pretty effective. I mean, Taj talked about being pretty motivated from bouncing back from what I thought was a pretty good outing. It just kind of snowballed right there in the fifth against Oakland. But he was so good to a very good lineup, uh, controlled the count really well, used his power uh, even there at the end. I mean, he was pumping 97. It's, it's pretty electric stuff. Um, he's a good pitcher now, and he's only going to continue getting better. The offense, obviously, swinging the bats well today, but Randy Rosarena, a couple RBI. He now has 50 RBI on the season. What are you seeing from him that's made him so effective? Um, well, I mean, he's getting good pitches to hit, and when he gets them, um, he's picking us up in big ways. I mean, he certainly is performing like an all-star. Um, the the poise that he's showing at the plate and the, the awareness of not expanding, waiting on his pitch, and if they walk him, they walk him, he's okay with that. That's kind of been the difference maker uh, from maybe last year to this year. Going back to Taj, I mean, no walks also, which I think he'll probably say was a pretty good accomplishment from his standpoint. What yeah, I thought he walked one, but maybe, okay. But what did you What did you see as far as pitch selection? Like what was working today for him? Uh, the, I mean, the fastball, the cutter, right. uh, dropped in a couple curveballs, threw a couple pretty good change-ups to Hicks. But, I mean, it's very fastball cutter heavy right. approach to both righty and lefty, and he's just gotten sync and rhythm with both of them. And do you kind of see his confidence growing? Yeah, I mean, but to his credit, he, he has, from day one, he's kind of come up here with a lot of confidence and shown that he's very even keeled. Um, he, he doesn't get emotional in the moment. And talking to him after games, it's really impressive, the perspectives that he carries after every outing. You needed a, a stopper, and he became that today. Is that how you kind of project him down the, down the road as, as things shake out? Yeah, I mean, I I think he's a really good pitcher, and I, I do. I think he's really going to continue to get better. I think we all think that. Uh, we're fortunate to have a guy like that, and today, yeah, we did. We were kind of, we haven't played our best baseball here as of late, and we needed a good start to let the offense get rolling, and he did a tremendous job. Those early runs, picking up, uh, giving him a little support, and just... Yeah, every pitcher in baseball is going to take early runs to, to let him kind of settle in, and he did that. The way you guys capitalize on some of Wells' misplays in the field in that second inning, too, after the home run? Yeah, I mean, look, Siri, I, I was impressed. He was ready to hit when he came up there. I know he swung through or foul ball, uh, but he put the ball in play. Sometimes you just got to put enough pressure on the defense. I know he didn't square it up, but it's a lot of speed. There's a lot of chaos and panic that goes on when he puts the ball in play, and we ended up getting two after uh, the home runs from Randy and, and Isaac. And putting pressure on, also tagging up on a 260-foot fly ball. Yeah, those are tough plays in series as fast as anybody in baseball. Uh, you know, big play for Siri. Wander owes him dinner.
<laughs> Another scoreless inning from from Kelly. What is clicking for him right now? I, th I think every outing he's, you know, he started out hot and then he had a couple outings that didn't come as easy. High pitch counts, a couple lefties got him. He's made some adjustments. He's really got fond of the cutter that he used and, and trusting his slider to, to the lefties. But he's pitching with a lot of confidence. He's been a big weapon for us, whether it's one inning or multi-inning. Kevin, you're not allowing any losses to accumulate. I mean, he lost three in a row for the first time and didn't become four. I mean, you, you kind of shut things off after a couple losses this season. You know? I mean, that that's kind of the hope, but that's also you know a byproduct of a, a good team. We have a good team that, I mean, they recognize when things aren't going well, we, we got to turn it around a little bit, and it seemed like they did that today. Today was pretty unique with a noon game. It's just been unique, but the guys handled it really, really well. All right, Jose, it certainly looks like your shoulder is feeling fine. That swinging bunt that drove in two runs. You took a big swing, but did it just kind of take a tap to get the job done? Parece que el hombro se siente bien. Parece que fue un toque, pero que un swing. Quedan todos los carreras, que puedo decir de eso? Eh, no, tú sabes, uno está un poquito incómodo, pero uno puede jugar así, uno un guerrero. Eh, gracias a Dios salieron las cosas bien hoy. Vamos a ver mañana, Dios mediante. You know, one may be bothered on a little injury, but, you know, you still feel good. You know, we're still going to go uh, come back tomorrow and just keep moving forward everything we do. Good how, thing I had a good day today. How impressed were you with Taj Bradley today and really just all season, the way that he has handled this season at such a young age and being called upon like he has? Que tan impresionante ha sido Taj Bradley, tan joven que es y que tan buena pichado este año. Bueno, la verdad, la verdad, me encanta como el pitcher, la su velocidad del brazo, tiene dominio en el... En, en el en la lomita y tú sabes cuando él está ahí yo me siento en confianza. You know, honestly, I love the way he pitches. You know, all season long, I love to see him. He's got a strong arm, throw, throws hard, has good velocity, and he like, has a lot of confidence when he's out there on the mound. But then the point you hit back to the mound, you're just thinking, just run as fast as you can at that point. Cuando le diste al regreso al pitch, no me estabas pensando correr lo más rápido posible. Sí, solamente corre y ya. Yo veía algo que venía rápido para home y yo dije, bueno, de mi room. Simply, I was just, yeah, just trying to run hard. I saw Manny, that he had a chance to, to run around, so I saw that, and I decided to run fast. And then on the tag up, that wasn't ball hit very far that Wander hit, just felt like you had a shot? I don't know, that's the third one in the sacrifice of Wander. It didn't seem like it was so far, but it was just like that. Yes, I could see when I went to the third base, I saw it a little bit further, and I said, well, I'm going to guard the cigar, because I have to have a career. And I went, and thank you, Tidro, for being disappeared. I, I noticed when I was going back to tag that he was, you know, pretty close. I said, you know what, I'm, I'm going to risk it. So I ended up taking off and noticed that the throw was thrown a little away. So I was able to make it. Cash said that Wander owes you dinner for the RBI. No, Wander es mi hermano. No me tiene que dar nada. Wander's my brother. He doesn't owe me anything. <laughs> All right, Tosh, you certainly went deeper into the game this time. Eight strikeouts. How did you feel today, and how good did it feel to, to go deeper into the game? Man, everything felt good. My body felt good. Pitches worked well. And just going into the six, I was just more happy than anything and more happy about no walks than the eight strikeouts. Did you feel like you did have a nice mix of all of your pitches today? Yeah, I saw I got, what, two strikeouts with every pitch? Mm -hmm. So that's a good mix to me. <laughs> and, like, everything just felt well. I threw everything in different counts and started off hitters off speeds and finished with the fastball and vice versa. Kevin Cash was complimenting you just on the perspective that you're able to have and the confidence that you've come in with. Have you always had that type of perspective and that type of confidence throughout your career? Or is that something you've learned this season? No, that's something I had to pick up throughout the minor leagues. Obviously, I came in not being a pitcher once I got drafted and having to go through the trials and tribulations, ups and downs. So just keeping a level head, I figured that was just the best way to get me through the minor league process. Just how motivated were you coming into the start, especially kind of the frustration you expressed about your last outing? Uh, I don't know about motivation, man. It just go into an outing the same way every time. Like, just because it was rough last week doesn't mean that's my fire to go into this week. It's just keep the same head. You, you can't fully control it, but were you of the mindset to try to get into the six today to try to get through five? I mean, that's me every time. Go deep into the game, uh, do majority of the game, and that's pretty much it. No matter the inning, five plus, six plus, seven plus, I just want to go until the manager shakes my hand and says I'm out the game. After the home run, which is really only your, your only bump in the road today, you retired the next 10. Is there anything that even locked into further place after that for you, after the home run? Mm -mm. That doesn't faze me at all. It's just, well, you know, one, a solo bomb isn't going to beat you, so I'm not going to be upset about that. Just get the next hitters out like I did. Oh, sorry. 
Oh, I was just uh, the early runs, getting uh, getting that fourth spot uh, before you went out for a second. Just how important was that to you, and did that help you relax, or you even are you cognizant of those things as they go on? I mean, run support is always you know beneficial and helpful to a pitcher. You're always excited to have it. Um, so that's pretty much it. I was excited when the runs came in and like how they were scored, but. As you go out there pitching the same way, you know, I got, even with the lead, like, learn how to pitch with a lead, something you got to learn, too. Do you consider this, I, and I think you were asked a couple starts ago what you considered your best start. Do you consider this up there, given six innings, given no walks? Yeah, this is one. Yeah, this is number one right here. Yeah. Because of no walks. Because of no walks, yeah. Not the strikeouts. Because there's no walks, I went six innings, I just feel like I pitched good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Taj. Thanks, Taj. Thank you,